Hi, Jen. Hope you're well. I'll text you back soon. Okay. Hi, Marina. Okay, so if you, I'm going to wait a few seconds for people to hop on. I should start with a couple, maybe a couple seconds later. Give it another minute. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope you all are having a beautiful Sunday. Um, just wanted to comment about my outfit real quick. Um, it is very much still summer in New York. It's very humid out, and I have my AC kind of cranked up. So I just wanted to be warm and, you know, cozy while I'm doing my live stream. It's going to be kind of um, a lot of information because I'll be going over basically three of my past um, live streams. If you've missed it, um, we'll, get, well, I guess this is a great thing so that way you can kind of see like a quick little roundup of like what I've been talking about from like shoes to bags to clothing pieces that I think are so essential for summer. And the thing is, just to recap about my style, I tend to um, go towards neutrals. As you can see, I'm very more like a neutral, black and white, neutral browns whatever kind of person so these are things i know i'll be reaching over and over um for not only this summer but every summer after that and some pieces are also transitional pieces to um the next season like some some pieces can definitely go for towards the fall or can transition from spring to summer all that jazz um so if you are new to my live stream or any live stream matter of fact um you what whichever live stream you join you get a 15 percent off discount so if you go check out on the right hand panel you see four different buttons or maybe a little more there's a button that has like four different squares that for there you can see um all, all the products i'm talking about today so the reason why i have more products than i normally do i usually have about um like well for my other live streams i usually have about three um items per live stream but since this is a roundup I usually am going to have nine but because some things are out of stock I kind of want to give you guys some different kind of options to um you know play around with things that are you know um not available and you can kind of see the other options that I put there if that makes any sense but anyway yes you get 15% off so if you go to that both those four squares you'll see how um, the products are already discounted. So, for example, the Emory Park, the Riley Knitted Romper, it's originally $56, but it's because of the 15% off, it's going to be $47.60. So, that is, I think, the perk of live stream and also live stream shopping. And also, I think you kind of, like, if you are into my style and if you want any, like, tips and whatever, um, here you can ask any questions from fashion, beauty, whatever. So since my life seems more towards fashion, like, you can definitely ask questions here. Don't forget to um, ask me any questions, leave any comments while you're chatting with me here. So we can get started. Um, let me show you guys the first, the first few items that I've done for my first live stream. So I'm going to show you guys the Riley Knitted Romper that I was just talking about. So like I said, again, because of the live stream deal, you're going to get 15% off. You get 15% off during the live stream, as well as in it after like after the live stream, like during the 30 minutes after. So that makes sense. So this is one of the products I've talked about in my first live stream. This is the Emory um, Park Riley Knitted Romper. I really love this because it's super comfortable and it's just so light, um, especially in New York, every, like the weather gets very humid. It's usually never dry where like in like the um, Midwest, it's, you tend to have drier weather. Um, so I really like how this is pretty thin and it's pretty comfortable. So this is made of synthetic fibers. So um, it's not made of, you know, like your natural cottons. It's, I think it's made of like polyester, like spandex, all of that. So what I love about synthetic fibers is that it's kind of almost stain resistant. I mean, of course, you will still see stains on it, but they're more resistant to stains than cotton and any other natural fibers, which is why I love this. I'm not usually the one to wear white, but and I usually tend to make a lot of spills and messes. So I love how this is made of these kinds of synthetic fibers. And you can kind of see the rib detail. Gives it like a sporty chic kind of vibe. And I love the ribbon here, the ribbon details and the cup details. It has like obviously a more sporty look, but it has a definite like feminine touch to it 
That's what I really love about it. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's the same handle as my barber shop handle. I styled it by wearing my Prada bag, which I can show you guys here. My Prada mini bag, a gray sweater kind of draped over, and my New Balances 990v5. Um, but if you want something more like comfortable, um, since in New York it's very hot, you don't want to wear sneakers, you want to wear something that's you know more light, more like summer friendly, you can definitely check out these camper sandals. These ones here. Let me find it in my collection and I can present it to you guys. Give me a second since I have so many things um, in the collection. So I'll show you guys here. Okay. So these are the Camper Women's Mash T Strap Sandals. Um, I love these because they're super comfortable. And I'm also not the one to wear um, super thin flip flops. Um, in New York, it gets very dirty pretty easily. I mean, it's New York and it's a lot of people, a lot of things happening. So I love how it has a very slight like platform, not really much of a platform, but I feel like it provides more protection for my feet. Um, so this is also made of synthetic fibers. Um, I believe it's made of rubber. Um, I really like how this is adjustable. So it's not only adjustable like by your ankle, it's also adjustable by like your um, feet. I really love that. Um, it's super comfortable. I've worn it plenty of times already. Um, I would pair it with, like I said, the Riley Knitter Bomber for more of like a sporty but still put together kind of vibe. And I would pair it with um, my, like, you know, my Prada bag. But if you, that, this is not in my live stream deal, but I just kind of want to show you guys like what I would normally pair it with. But what I would also pair it with is this um, Koza Numbers Misa bag. This is also in my collections. I just talked about this um one live stream ago so last week during the fourth of july if anyone was there i talked about this little cute guy so this one is made out of um grade a um box calf leather and this part here is made i forgot it was made up but i know it's like synthetic fiber it's not leather so this is what i really love about this like sometimes leather shops tend to kind of wear off so i love how this is like something that you can't really damage in a sense if that makes sense but um i love how koza numbers kind of um merges together art as well as fashion and architecture so this is kind of held together by like an architectural um, hinge structure i really love that kind of like merging of industries and different you know sectors of art i mean i like to think that architecture is art i believe but yeah, you can pair it with this and my sorry i've like some stuff um the riley knitted romper for more of like a sportier chic um kind of look less on the feminine side if you kind of want to do something like that definitely more sporty so i really love that kind of look but yeah oh and by the way the straps on this knitted romper is adjustable as you can see i love that um Oh, and another good thing about this is that it's not see-through. So I think I mentioned in the first live stream that um, you would have to wear something that's like nude colored under here, but um, I wore it again and I wore like black undergarments and it didn't show through, which I absolutely love. So that's another great thing about this because usually a lot of white clothing pieces tend to be like kind of see-through, um, not transparent, but like translucent kind of, kind of deal not sheer either but you can kind of see like, like the shadows underneath of what you're wearing which I personally don't like so I love how this is not thick but still like you're still able to have like that coverage wearing white so that's what I love about it and then another um summer piece that I would love for you guys to have in your wardrobe is these a goldie um Bermuda shorts and um, let me find it here so I can show you guys again give me a moment since I have so much stuff here Okay, so if you're familiar with Aritzia and Revolve, they do carry a Goldie. Um, so if you want to stop by there, um, definitely just check it out. Um, if you want to try it in person, if you're not ready to buy denim um, during my live stream, I totally understand since you, know, you want to kind of feel it. You kind of want to make sure you're getting the right size. I know denim is kind of hard to shop for, but these are it. I love these so much. I love how these are buttons instead of zippers. It kind of has like this nice, like, I love that detail and um, you, you don't see the buttons, which I love. It's also like pretty chic. I love how minimal it kind of looks. So this one is made out of um, organic um, cotton. I love how it's like a non-stretch. So it has that high quality um, cotton feel. 
it's your usual, um, you know, light wash um, denim. It has like these distressed details. Um, I think they run a little bigger than normal. I'm usually like it's a true size 25 and I got a 25. So this one's a little big. Um, I like the baggier feel, but since I'm someone who has like very short legs and I have a longer torso, I would, you know, roll these up. I did already wear these um, without it being rolled up and it's still such a cute look. I wear it with um, my um, camper sandals again. I was just doing errands. I wore these camper um, that's t strap sandals and these goldy um, 90s, 90s pinch waist shorts and just um, a ribbed um, crop top. Or, and like I also, another time I wear it with like um, a cropped white t shirt. Um, I like how simple kind of gives that, that 90s vibe. So I really like that kind of look. If you're looking for something more minimal, more like timeless, this is definitely your go to look like any white tops with denim and some sandals or sneakers is always such a timeless look that you'll keep wearing every summer and every spring and even fall you can, in the fall and the winter, obviously you want to wear like um, long pants. But um, yeah, as I was saying, like, this is definitely something that I would keep wearing my wardrobe every summer. Um, especially since like, if I'm not comfortable wearing like short shorts, um, I would definitely hop over to this super cute, super casual. You can definitely dress it up as well. I definitely worn it with my, um, these, um, Sam Edelman's, um, these like, um, thong strap, um, heels. So you can see here, I already wore it. As you can see, like it's very dirty at the bottom, but what I love about these, actually, let me show you guys this as well, but I think they're sold out, but I just want to show you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, here as well. Sorry, give me one second. Okay. Yeah. So I guess you can kind of see that it's already sold out. So it's the brand is Circus by Sam Elliman. It's a skeet thong heel, but I also added um, another one. It's called, um, the brand is called Intentionally Blank and they have a similar looking one. It's called the T sandal, the T heel. It's in black. It's a little more pricier. Um, so if these were still in stock, it would have been $68 with my live stream deal, but um, with intentionally blank, their T sandals were originally $149, but with my live stream deal, you'll get it for $126.65. So I think it's still a steal. It's still um, a bargain to me. But yeah, this one, for example, I like how the style is very like timeless. It's like you don't, it still has a strappy look to it, but these are a little thicker than like the strappy um, kind of heels that I normally wear, but I love that kind of look. It kind of adds like some detail to it. So let me just show you guys the potentially thing. I'll leave it on my screen while I'm talking about this different shoe. But these are really cushioned. So hopefully they'll come back in stock another day. Um, if you're, if, since it's out of stock now, I still have it in my collections. So if you go to my Vera Shop profile, um, so not the tab where you see my feed, but you'll see my life in collections. You can definitely see these there. Maybe like next time you'll find another website or, you know, Vera Shop may, um, um, restock it but anyway I love how comfy these are I'm really into like sculpted heels now um, I like how abstract they are um Bottega Veneta kind of started that whole like abstract kind of heel and um, I just really am hopping on the bandwagon I think it's so cute and I think it's super timeless um because I feel like stiletto heels I feel like after the pandemic everyone kind of is trying to you know get back in the groove of like wearing real clothes since everyone's been home for so long you know no one wants to go straight into wearing stiletto heels like it's not comfortable it's not functional so for this summer as you can see I'm very into like functionality um, as you see, I only have like sandals and like one heel in my summer collection because I really want to be comfortable while still looking good and enjoying life and not thinking about how bad my feet hurt. But um, yeah, this one's a short heel. I believe it's about like maybe three inches. And I feel like the sculpted heel kind of like takes that eye away from how short it is. Like you kind of focus on the shape rather than the size of it, the size of the heel. So that's what I really love about it. But yeah, it's super comfortable. This is cushioned. This is also cushioned. Um, I also like, I used to wear heels a lot growing up and so I have a pretty bad bunion. And I feel like because like these are open, like sandal heels, I love how it doesn't, you know, hurt my bunion. So, cause you know, pretty white feet now, but yeah. Anyway, I would wear it with um, these. And like also like a crop top, any kind of crop top, and that kind of elevates the look. And I would also wear it with this Nicole Marks Zoe crossbody. I call this my little croissant, my little dumpling. It's so cute. So this one, let me show you guys here actually, while I'm talking about the Nicole Mark bag. 
um so this one's kind of sold out i'm sorry guys this is sold out but she does have other colors um she has one, another one oxblood it has it's like a more of like a reddish and um, brownish kind of color i think it's so timeless i just got this one because i was influenced by my friend annalise she has the exact same one and i love how she styled it she's more she has a more sophisticated um style like more notes of menswear and um, i thought this bag would be great to add to my collection um, so I can kind of play around with like kind of her style and kind of incorporate into my own wardrobe. But yeah, you can wear it with like these, um, a goldie shorts, a white tank, and the skeet thong heel from Sam Edelman. And with this bag, kind of playing around kind of color blocking with neutrals. Um, I love this bag so much because you can kind of um, play around with the sizing um, or the length of the crossbody. You can just like easily just pull it like this super cute super functional so you can wear it as like a shoulder bag you can sneak here um or a crossbody i'm not really a crossbody kind of girl unless i'm trying to go for more like a sportier vibe so if i want to look more like put together still i would wear it as like a shoulder bag and um, this one's made out of genuine genuine natural leather so it's not vegan leather like this dog bag which i will talk about soon but i believe the inside is made of linen Kind of stained it already because i had some hand sanitizer in here and it kind of opened up but you know it's at least it's on the outside so it's very roomy in here kind of reminds you of, like those mini bag trends but this is definitely like a lot bigger than that i think not a lot bigger but you know maybe a little bit you can still fit like your wallet your necessities your mask your hand sanitizer whatever i mean it definitely reminds me of the bottega clutch bag almost the same design but nicole mark has her own like signature looks on it um so i love how you can see the texture of the bag it's not smooth like you can see like the ridges the crinkles like i love that kind of adds into like the character of this dumpling bag and it has like, that little leather strap and it has a like, gold um what's it called hardware i really love that I love that detail i'm more of a gold person anyway as you can see i'm wearing a lot of gold here so um yeah i really love this a lot you could definitely transition this to like a fall piece i don't think i posted it um i, didn't, I don't think i am um, styled it on my instagram yet um, i will definitely like style it soon and i'll post it for you guys i've worn it without taking like pictures of it because you know just blood and life so but yeah i will definitely um post on my instagram and verify on how i style this um soon but yeah love that piece it's super versatile it has like a level of like, of like sophistication and also you can still wear like a sportier kind of look you can wear it with like leggings and you know your usual leggings and black top whatever you can kind of carry it like this like a clutch bag i think it kind of like allows that kind of look because it's like like scrunched up kind of reminds me of like a lunch bag um but yeah you can definitely wear it like that that's what i love about that piece but i do want to talk about this um stod bag this gorgeous luna bag let me um put it let me present it to you guys so this is a Stahl Luna bag. It's originally $3.95, but for my live stream deal, because you get 15% off, um, it's only $3.35.75. I love this bag so much. The like the fish netting um, trend kind of started in like 2018, 2019. Um, it kind of reminds you of these like like grocery like produce bags. But um, I love how Stahl kind of hopped on a little late, but still like have to create like such a timeless like essence to it i love how they use like a vegan leather netting um emphasis on vegan like this is definitely vegan so if you are like you know like someone whose lifestyle focuses on like plant-based diets and vegan whatever like this is definitely a bag for you um but i was saying like i like how stod kind of like has an emphasis on timelessness here instead of using like linen to kind of cover this like netting they use leather and i love how they use white um, on the inside, the, not the mesh part, but I guess, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's mesh. It's like the, the inside part of the bag is made of linen. I absolutely love that detail. And I like how this bag is more structured. I'm not a person to get a bag with the kind of just like flops. It doesn't like sit. Like even though this bag looks like it's going to like fall over, it does have a bottom. So it's going to sit. I like that. I like that kind of structured bag. So yeah, this is a shoulder bag. And I love how it has like a silver um, hard hardware to it. I'm glad they picked um, silver instead of gold. It has like, a cool emphasis on the summer summer kind of color. And I like how um, they looked at every detail. Like they added two zippers here, which I love. I feel like that just makes life easier. You just grab the zipper that's like closest to you. I I'm not, I just really appreciate small details like that. 
but um this is a really big bag like you can fit so much you can fit a book your wallet like everything in here i absolutely love that um i styled this piece um a couple of weeks ago in the beginning of july it's like, it's like last week i guess um it was pretty cold it was like 64 which is so strange because usually it's like really hot in new york but i wore this with my zara denim pants um denim jeans i guess and i wear it with like a white tank as you can see i'm a huge like person who wears a lot of tanks and like basics but elevated basics i wear it with a white tank and then i wear it with like a crop trench coat and some zara um, faux leather heels you can see it on my garage profile so if you see on the right hand panel you see like two rectangles you can minimize my live stream and kind of check out my profile there so you can see what i'm talking about so yeah i wore it with this bag i feel like this bag kind of livened up my outfit because it was very like neutral like kind of dark neutrals if you know what i mean um they're very muted neutrals and this kind of brought um the outfit to life and as you can see like i said before like these pieces um they can transition to the next season. So I love how like I can definitely wear this in the fall sale while um, still wearing it for the summer. So that's what I love about that piece. It's so timeless, perfect for summer, perfect to transition to other uh, weathers as well. And I kind of want to show you guys what else I would style it with. So I also got this dress from Astro the Label. It's the Gaia Cowl Neck Midi Dress. Um, I'll show you guys here. It's kind of hard to show since I should have like step back a little bit, but you can see here. Um, I believe this is made of polyester, so again, some bag fibers. Um, it's a midi dress. I have a bunch of midi dresses. I have one in like pistol yellow. I have one in like red, and I have one in. They have one in white, and yeah, I wanted to kind of add to more of my collection. I love how you can't really see it. I haven't posted it yet, sorry guys. I will post it like sometime at the end of the month of me wearing it. I've already styled this. I styled it with this dog bag. We were going to dinner and I styled it with this. And I also wore like white strappy heels um, just to kind of match the bag. So I'm the person that really likes to match my bag with um, my shoes. I feel like in men's fashion, like it's like the ultimate like rule. You have to match your belt with your shoes. So what I do is I match my bag with my shoes. It just feels more elevated, more sophisticated. And it feels like, you know, more put together. But anyway, I love how um, cinched at the waist this is. You can't really tell, but you can tell on the model. And the reason why it looks more cinched is because you can kind of um, tie the knot in the back. So it's a crisscross deal here um, in the back. So I love that detailing and it's adjustable and it's also adjustable here. So you can definitely make this tighter in your waist, kind of give you that hourglass figure. And I love that asymmetrical cut at the end. Gives it a very like um, feminine, sexy silhouette, which I really love. Um, I don't like those dresses that kind of just go straight down because it just reminds me of like a maxi dress. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. It's super sophisticated. I thought it was like a beige, but when it came in the mail, it was like a blush pink. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I love it a lot. I feel like I need some more muted neutrals in my closet. Um, just to play around with color a little more. I'm not very, I'm not like a color person, as you can tell. But I feel like this is kind of a way for me to play into color. So if you're not, a, if you're like a neutral person like me and you want to kind of play, if you want to play around with color, this is like something I would go for. Like, muted pastels, muted colors in the summer, some things that I usually would wear. Um, so yeah, so I know a couple of you guys are just joining. I know a few people are on right now. Oh, I forgot to talk about the Marcel heel. So this one is from, sorry guys, um, 27 Edit Naturalizer. So these are the shoes. Like I said before, I am not a person to wear like really thin flip-flops. I think it's kind of gross to wear in New York because there's like so much happening on the sidewalk and the subways. Like there's no way you will see me wearing sandals. I can't do it. So I love how these are like platforms and they're so comfortable. So this is made of suede and I love how it's adjustable here. It's all suede here and there's like leather on the inside. So what I love about this sandal is that it kind of plays into like the dad sandal that kind of was like really popular in summer of last year, so 2020, um, everyone had those like Chanel dad shoes. I kind of got, um, I want a dupe, but like the Ducey London's version of it. So I can show you guys. So I talked about this in two live streams ago when we focus on shoes. So it's this one. I can compare, I could show you guys for comparison. But look. Kind of the same silhouette, except that this one doesn't have a back strap, which I like because I want something more easy because I already have this one which has a back strap to it. More of a sportier vibe. So as you can see, like everyone wore this, like everyone wore some concept of it. 
um, last summer. And I kind of want to bring that over to the summer because I still wear, I, I love it. I still wear it. Um, and it's just super comfortable, super easy. Like it's it still looks so put together without having to wear heels. So again, I'll show you guys here. And I love how it's like an inch or two inch platform. It kind of gives me some height and, um, yeah, it gives me like the extra space away from the floor, but I already styled this. You can see it on my Vera shop profile and my Instagram. Don't follow me on Instagram already. It's my, it's the same handle as my Vera shop. And I think I, I think I had it in my bio as well in case you need a reminder. So, um, yeah, it's this one. I wore it with like these ribbed pants, which I'm actually wearing right now. And then I wore it with another like top, which I have here. I'll show you guys. I wore it with this top. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing like turtlenecks in the summer, but this summer has been so crazy with the weather. Like I'm like wearing like turtlenecks, with jackets, like so strange. But this is like a knit um, top, backless top. So I wore it with this, um, these, and um, these um, Marcel heels. I don't know why they call it heels, even though it's like sandals whatever but um yeah I wore it with um a JW pay bag and that was before I got the uh, clothes and numbers miso bag so I feel like I would wear it with this it's like a very like lounge wear kind of look and I still feel like you can go out in it like it is definitely pajamas but like it has like the, the rib detail kind of gives it like a very sophisticated kind of look I don't know what it is but I just love it um Hannah Schomburg she's um if you don't follow influencers on Instagram like I find a lot of like fashion um inspiration from her so she wore like a set like this and I decided to like wear it out and I think it's such a cute look like a cute like cozy comfortable look that you can wear out so if you're going for brunch and like you know you know you're gonna be drinking a lot and eating a lot and something like this I, I would totally wear something like that but yeah I would wear it with this bag more of a sportier sophisticated kind of look but yeah so I only have two minutes now so if you guys have any questions let me know i feel like i covered basically everything in my live stream collection that i've talked about in the previous live streams um if you are going to make it for my next live stream next week again i am here every sunday at six o'clock p.m eastern time so three o'clock and pacific time um so next um live stream i'm going to be talking about timeless classic white tops which is my ultimate favorite topic because as you can see on my Instagram, I'm always wearing a version of a white tank or a white top. And this is like my specialty. Um, I love wearing elevated basics like that. So um, if you are available, definitely join me. I'm only live for 30 minutes like today. Um, so definitely like um, take some time out to watch me talk about like my favorite white pieces. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. But I feel like I definitely covered everything. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for joining my live stream. Um, I really appreciate that you took some time out of your weekend to watch me talk about my favorite summer essentials. So like I said, if you are still thinking about like these pieces that I'm talking about here, you can always, um, you know, spend some time like reading the products and kind of like looking for inspo and still shop for it in the next 30 minutes because my the live stream deal is still active at that time you don't have to do anything the live stream deal discounts already in place so you don't have to like add a code or put in like a coupon whatever so it's just already marked there so yeah i hope i see you guys next week i really appreciate you taking the time out to watch me and i hope you have a beautiful rest of a beautiful rest of a sunday thanks so much guys bye